All right, so I made it to pick and pull, walking to row 44. Supposedly that's where the car is at, so I'm gonna find out here shortly if the headlights are still here. Let's go. All right, so here's the car. It's a 2001 and um, yeah, <laughs> whole front end is actually gone. So um, no luck today, unfortunately, but it's okay. We're gonna try to at least get some store credit for those headlights. Let's check the inside. Maybe we'll get lucky, but honestly doubt it. Don't see anything. And um, no, don't see anything. So <laughs> gotta act quick around here. These Russians always in a rush, trying to get these car parts ASAP, especially Xenon headlights, you know, they're gonna go quick. So yeah, it is what it is. I'm gonna go try to exchange mine or at least get store credit or something. And they were 75 bucks, so not much, I mean, but still a little chunk of change. So maybe we're gonna keep waiting. There's actually a white one right there. Oh, that's the one I was actually working on. So yeah, it is what it is, but Here's this one right here too, but I'm not sure what year this is. This might be an older model. No headlights again, so. You know what? I may, may be a little lucky after all. We got some headlights. Are these Xenon? Are these Xenon? Oh, baby, let's go. Get these busted looking headlights. Hey, they're Xenon, so hopefully this is not a 03 production or a 2002 and up. Hopefully it's like a 01 or something. Let's see what it says. So I'm not too sure. Let's pop the door. Let's see what the production says. It's a 2002 vehicle, January. So I may get lucky with these. They may be bakeable. So let's check the stamp on the headlight itself and see what we could see. All right, let me just show you really quickly how to remove this headlight. On an E39, super easy. So an 8 mil right here, another 8 mil right there. There should be two on the bottom. Um, there's one right there already removed. There's another one right over there. So that's all you need, and this puppy should just slide right out. So let's go ahead. Can't really record it since I'm here by myself. Wifey ain't here to record. So let's get him off and check that stamp on the headlight, see when it was produced. All right, so you gotta move this little vent hose out of the way. And there you have it. You see that little arrow? If you peek, it's pointing pretty much to the one. So it's past 12 and it's 02. So this one was actually built, looks like the same day or time as the car itself. So it's a January 2002 production. So based off what people are saying on the forums, this should be bakeable and the lens should easily come apart without any problems. So let's check the other light. Here it is. Same thing on the one, O2. So much better than the other ones I had. So this is so far a good sign. Let me actually remove these little screws on the side and see if I could tell if the glue actually stretches or not. All right, so I'm gonna try to record this myself and take it off, see how it goes. Okay, here we go. The screw is right there. Let's try to kind of pull on it. Voila, there you guys have it. So there's the definition of the little stretchiness of if your headlight has this type of material, we're gonna say glue in this case scenario, then you're looking good. So I'm almost 100% certain that these are gonna come apart and we're gonna have a good time replacing these lens without struggling. So let's get this second one off real quick. Check this one as well. There you go. Much different compared to the other one. The other one did not do this. So, all right, so here are the new adjusters. We're gonna install them on the headlights and fix them. So, here they are. Here's the new ones. And the old ones are right over here, all cracked and whatnot, sitting on the screws. So, what we're gonna do to remove them. Get our 10 millimeter socket. We actually have a gun, which is gonna be easier for us. Righty tighty, lefty loosey, and we're gonna go left to loosen it. Keep going. Like so, I feel it's loose. There's some pieces coming apart.
Okay, so all the pieces are finally off. Now we got the other one right over here. Get our gun, same thing. Lefty Lucy. There it is, coming apart. Let's see if all of it came out. Nope, there's still some right here. And I think that should be it. Yep, so as you can see, here's the screw right over here, one right there, and one right there. So what we're going to do is install the new adjusters now. Start with this one. This one goes upside down like this, I believe. Let's see. Actually, it goes sideways like this. Not like that, but like this. Boom. So we're going to set it up like so. And the thing with this, this one's a little tricky. You're going to want to go in a little have some threads on the adjuster and then pull out. And they keep going in, out, in, out. So that's what, we're, what I'm gonna be doing right now. Double check, nice and secured. Just clean it up a bit before we pop this portion on. And this stuff you don't really see anyways, but just for peace of mind. Here are the adjusters right there, new ones. And here's where they're supposed to go on on this piece right here. The old ones were still stuck in here, so I already took it off, just didn't record it. So you might struggle with these because they're super, super fragile and just break apart, get stuck. So, so we just match it up to the adjusters like so. And once we do, there it is. Just press on it. And you're gonna hear it kind of pop. One, and this one's not straight. and two. So they're both now in and secured. So now this portion, as you can see, it's secured. It's not flopping around from this upper piece. All right, so now we're just gonna kind of clean this part up because this part you will see, especially right here in the lens, or the bulb, the glass portion. So we're moving along to the next piece and it's gonna be this one right here with the halo rings. As you can see, this is where the light kind of beam goes into the halos and it comes out out of right there so you just go like this and slowly get these bracket pieces back inside the housing it still has that adhesive on so i'm not going to go fully all the way in i'm going to pretty much throw these in the oven warm it up and then press it in all the way so we're ready for the next part. Got the headlight lenses right over here with me. I'm about to show it to you really quickly, but pretty much what we're gonna do is start scuffing them down. I got some sandpaper. I'm gonna show it to you really quickly. So here we go. All right, so here's the lenses and some sandpaper. Let me show you really quickly. Got a thousand grit right over here. Probably the last step that I'll be doing. And then I got some four and 600 grit. So we'll see which one I need. That'll be the first step. And um, here are the lenses. I mean super sun faded as you guys could see both of them they are original ones so hella right over here stamped um i did want to replace this originally that was the plan but everybody's out of stock like i said so um, what we're gonna do is plan b just scuff it down and um, clear coat it at a professional shop and see how they turn out but as you could see let me zoom in yeah lots of little pitting and sun fading so let's get started
All right, guys, let me just show you the progress really quickly. So if we zoom into this lens, you might see the scuff marks kind of going in a pattern like this and then the opposite like this. Ideally, that's what you want to do and that's what I was trying to do. And if I'm not doing that, then I kind of just go in a straight pattern like this and try to do, you know, in an evenly fashion along the whole headlight lens. So if I zoom in, you can kind of see that for the most part, all the oxidation is actually gone. But then if you look on the bottom, you could kind of still see the other part going a little deeper. So what we want to do is get a, rid of these marks on the bottom because this part was actually a little deeper in the lens. So in the beginning, when you're scuffing it down, it's kind of like a yellowish goo that comes off. The more you scuff, the more it turns white. So that's a good sign. That's what I've been seeing. So now just this bottom, I'm gonna try to get rid of it and go a little deeper. So, I mean, I've been using 600. I'm gonna try 400 to try to get this out of here a little quicker than the 600. Let's see what happens. All right, you guys, let me show you the progress some more. So I used the 400 and I scuffed it down all the way. As you could see, the little cloud mark that used to be on the bottom is now gone and the whole lens is all even, looks real good. The one thing is though, I did use a 400, so the lines are now a lot more visible. And obviously you're not gonna wanna just clear coat over how it is right now. So what we're gonna do is gonna use a 600, scuff it down some more and then use a thousand for the last final scuff. And I think that should be good. So stick around. All right, you guys, finally done. About an hour and 30 minutes later, lenses are right there on my car. Let's dive deeper and show you guys the lenses. And let me just show them to you. So the process was started off with 600 grit. Then I thought I should go down a bit, went to 400. Um, and I would say the process for 400 on this type of job is not worth it. Just stick to 600, keep scuffing. Your hands may get tired, but in the long run, it will be all worth it. And then the final stage was 1000 grit before paint, or I should say before getting them clear coated. So there's a couple little imperfections, like right there, right there. Inside lens is a little bit scratched right over there. And on this headlight, the main part is this little thing. So they're not gonna be perfect, but hopefully at least 90% um, back to spec of OEM. So, I mean, maybe once a new pair of lenses is available and I could buy some, maybe I'll buy some. But for now, um, the only thing left is to get them to the shop and get them clear coated professionally. So, stay tuned. What is up, you guys? I'm back at the house. Finally got the lenses. Last night, I went to the shop. He painted them up and finished. So, I picked them up. They kind of been chilling for about maybe a day, maybe two days total. I have them in my possession. We could finally assemble the headlights. Um, they've pretty much been chilling like this on the couch here in the corner for quite some time, annoying some people like my wife. So finally I could assemble them and um, we'll be good to go. But boy, did the lenses turn out amazing. Let me just show them to you right now. Boom, check them pretty things out, you guys. They look amazing. You could actually see the stamp right there. Perfectly, perfect and clear. So I'll be 100% real with you guys. Since the beginning of doing plan B, and uh, sanding him down and having him re-clear coated. Did not think they would turn out this good because I actually did it on another pair of headlights and I just used the little cheap spray cans. Um, it was okay, but it was not this good. So obviously he used a nice coat of clear coat. And as you could see, they look amazing. So we got the green light to finally go ahead and put the headlights together. I'm not gonna really record it. And um, that'll be it. I'll show you the final product. So stay tuned. The moment we all been waiting for. There it is, all assembled, all good to go. I'm not gonna take off this little green mark that's picking full stuff, just in case something doesn't work, because um, now I'm just hoping the wiring inside and everything's good once I get the bulbs installed and on the car. So if all is well, it's gonna be pretty much a brand new headlight and I'm super stoked. There you have it. All right, you guys, so that's pretty much it. As you can see, headlight is assembled. Both of them are actually, I just showed you one, but a little bit of work with your hands that's what you could do pretty much sand it down in the headlight that look pretty much you know something you want to throw in the trash actually looks brand new again so the only thing is hopefully it works but that's that stay tuned to for all fun bros next video is pretty much gonna be probably 
me getting the car out of the frame shop or something like that. So thanks for watching and stay tuned. We out.